In this example, we're going to look at a couple different ways to read a file. I have a file called names.txt, and I'm going to read this file a couple different ways using Python. This is a plain text file, not a binary file. And I just want to show you about three different ways that we can read this file. So I have a file example right now. I have a function. I call a function. Let's put some code inside of our definition for main. That way we can actually read the file. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open a file. This is file is going to be used for reading input. I'm just going to call it end file. We're going to open, specify our file name. It's in the same folder as our Python file, so I don't have to give it any type of path. And we're going to open it for reading. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to read the entire contents of the file. So I'm going to create another variable called contents. And I'm going to take my variable for my file, in file, dot read. The read function is going to read all the content for my in file. Now I'm going to close my in file. Anything I open, I have to close. Normally I'm talking about things like parentheses and quotes, stuff like that. When I work with a file, there's actually a function called open and close. Open, of course, opens the file, in this case for reading. Close is going to close it down. That way, someone else can use the file. They can write to it, add to it, different things like that. Now I'm going to print out contents. That's the variable. It collected all of my information. I have it here. I'm going to save. I'm going to go to my console and run my file read program. You'll notice that it took those names and displayed the whole thing at one time. Now, read is really good for reading the entire contents of my file. However, a lot of times, in fact, most of the time, I want to read it line by line. It just makes it a little bit easier to process and handle. So let's look at a couple different ways we can do that. I'm going to save this as a new file, and I'm going to delete the contents. In this case, what I want to do is show you how to read a file line by line. So first, we're going to show you kind of the manual way. I have a variable called line1. I'm going to say line1 is equal to infile.read. And I have a couple different options, but I'm going to use the read line method. That's going to read one line. And it's going to go until I either get to the end of my file or I hit what's called a new line character. A new line character is something in Python we can escape with a backslash n. And the idea of a new line character is it's just going to send us to a new line for us to go. It's the next line in our text editor. I'm going to duplicate this just a couple times with new variables line 2 and line 3. I'm going to change my print command to print out line 1, line 2, and line 3. I'm going to save the file, go to my command console, and run file read 2. You'll notice a couple of small differences. First off, you'll notice, for example, that each name has a blank line. That's because when we do the read line, we are also capturing that new line character. And print also prints a new line character. So we're moving down two lines in between each name. The second thing you might notice is I only read the first three lines. By only calling read line three times, what has happened is I've read the first three lines and then I called the close. I never read the entire file. The problem with this method, as you can see, is if I don't know how big my file is, I can miss data. And that's a real problem. I want to show you real quick how to fix one of these problems. I'm going to go back to my source file. I'm going to say line one is going to equal line one dot. And then I want to remove that new line character. The way to do that is I'm going to do R strip. That's going to strip off characters from my right hand side. The one I want to remove is going to be the new line character. Remember that new line character is a backslash n. It's an escaped character inside of Python. I'm going to do this for all three lines. And now if I run my script again, You'll notice that John, Sue, and Mark all display each of their own separate line, but without extra spaces, which is a lot nicer and cleaner. 
So if I am using that read line, a lot of times I need to use that R strip to strip off that last new line character. Just makes it a lot easier to work with that data. So I want to show you one other way of how we can simplify this process by reading in the entire file, not just part of it. So here I've made a small change. I've called this my file read three, and I'm going to remove this information here. And I'm also gonna remove my prints. I wanna now look at how am I gonna enclose this inside of a loop. Now, this is actually pretty easy. Inside my file, after I've opened it, so this is actually pretty easy using a for loop. I'm gonna say for line in in file. Python's gonna be smart enough to know that because I see this, it knows that I'm gonna to need to use the read line. And it's gonna do it line by line. I don't have to use a variable line, I could do something else. Python's just gonna handle this for me. We're gonna use the R strip again to strip off our in character, and we'll print line. Now you'll notice that previously we've always closed our files first. Well, in this case, we need to keep the file open when we're printing because we're only printing the lines as we read them inside our loop. I'm going to switch back to my console and now do my third example for my Python file. You notice in this case, I read all my lines. I didn't have to change any and it stripped off the extra space. If I come back to my names, I'm going to add some extra lines to my file and save it. When I go to my console without changing any of my code, I can run this file again and notice it loads and displays each line. Because I'm using a for loop, it's going to keep on running until we run out of content. And that's a huge advantage to use this like a for loop to read in our file, is that we get everything that we need as part of it. We don't have to know how many lines are in it. And if our file changes, we don't have to change our program because the for loop keeps on running while there's still lines to be read.